good to see you. And uh, I, I think everybody's regular people that's been here before in a regular service. Uh, I know Kat there. She came during, uh, and, uh, I don't even know which fellowship. And, uh, but anyway, God bless you. It's good to see you. Amen. We're going to uh, go to the Word of God. And uh, I want you to turn with me to the book of Luke in chapter 17. In verse 31, stand with me for the reading of this word. I ain't never preached this before, but I'm going to preach tonight. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field let him likewise not return back. I want to take a text from about the second sentence from this verse. Stuff in the house. Uh-oh. we got more stuff in us. That's right. Well. I want to title my message. Stuff. 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 Yeah. Somebody say stuff. 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 Lord Jesus, help us get rid of some stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. God, we thank you for the yeah. Holy Ghost yeah. and fire. fire. Yes. And we thank you for your undefiled yeah. word. Perfect yes. word. God, let it penetrate every yes. heart and yes. every ear. Jesus. That your engrafted word will save their soul. In That's Jesus' right. name. Hallelujah. Everybody said amen. 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 I want to talk to you about stuff yep. in our house. Yep. That's right. Yep. <laughs> I tell you how I got this message. Because we've got a whole lot of stuff in our house. <laughs> I was I took it on myself the other day to is that is anybody in here happy? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let's stand up and praise God. Just right yeah. now. Let's just, I just feel like praising the name of Jesus. Lord God, I feel the Holy Ghost of God. We need Christians to get on fire. We need Christians to stop cowering us. God Almighty, I praise His name. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! But I took on myself to load up the dishwasher. <laughs> you know, after dishes set in the sink for five days, they get fermented. <laughs> but anyway, I don't think it's there that long. But <laughs> of course not. But <laughs> anyway. Uh, I was loading up the dishwasher, and I got it all loaded up, and I, I reached under the cabinet. You know these little bags of stuff? Yeah. Uh, you dishwasher detergent, a little ball about this big. I got one out, and before I could get it out, I knocked over a flower pot. Uh-oh. And then I had to clean up the mess out of the floor, and I'm thinking, why is there a flower pot when it's supposed not to be a flower pot there? And I looked under there, and you know what I see? A bunch of stuff. You know what Webster calls stuff? Stuff can be anywhere from food to clothes. It can be junk. It can be good junk. Sister Ron, I've got a whole lot of reverb up here, sister. Now listen, it can be anything that you can imagine. And I got to thinking about we got stuff in our life that we don't need. You're right. That's right. You're right. If you got a box of macaroni that's been sitting in your cabinet since 2005, get rid of it. That's right. You don't need it. You don't need it anymore. That's right. If you got a bottle of ranch dressing. <laughs> God, I feel the Holy Ghost. That's in the back of the refrigerator and it's green on top. 
that old classic. Look at that old classic. After it ain't no good, it becomes stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and those clothes that's hanging in your closet that shrunk while they were hanging there. That's right. And, that's what and they you do. You ain't wore them in three years. That's what they do. <laughs> it becomes stuff. And stuff that's on top of your coffee table <laughs> that you ain't wiped off in two weeks. Oh it's stuff. Yeah. That stuff that's under your bed that's got a quarter inch of lint on it. <laughs> it's stuff. Yeah. I'm telling you, church, we got too much stuff in our life. And if we get rid of some stuff, uh, yeah. God can move in and really have a hold down. Yeah. We need to get rid of some stuff. We got too much stuff. I want to show you something. There's a difference in being mean and being firm, and I'm a girl. I, I stand on the word. Amen. Listen to this conversation. A pastor, you don't know him, but I know him. Pastor this church. He said, church, we're going to have a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night meeting. Uh, what one of them's going off. I don't know which one it is. But watch this. He, after church, brother comes up to him. He said, pastor, he said, we got so much going on. We 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 you, we're, we have too much church around here. What? Mm. Now 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 this happened. He looks at the man. He said, "We had two revivals last year." Now this is a lay person. He said, "You played on a grown-up man softball league." from April to June and I know you was at the park for six nights in a row Boy, and he said if you get some of that stuff out of your life uh, what's matter with you saints of God it's alright to do that and if you're too busy to lift up the living God something you got too much stuff in your life Can a spirit of sarcasm come up on me right now? Will yeah. that be all right? And then I'm going to ask you to leave. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Please. Please. If you want the enemy to give you an excuse yeah. every Sunday and Wednesday yes. to stay out of church, how many do you want? That's right. And I'm going to get real sarcastic. If you've got a fourth cousin that lives in Chicken Lips, Arkansas, that you ain't seen in 50 years, and he stumped his toe, you should stay out of church. No. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm preaching. I'm preaching like this. Right. You're right. You want to miss Sunday? You're right. It's going to snow in Alaska. You might want to stay at home. That's right. Yeah. I'm telling the truth. You know what it is? Honest before the Holy Ghost. We're so occupied with stuff, we can't get people dedicated. That's right. right. Yes. That's true. Right. Yes. Watch this. Frank Deal, I remember this distinctly. Yeah. When you're a pastor, you remember all the lies those weathermen tell. <laughs> and he told them. Yes, he did. He called for snow. He started calling for snow in July. <laughs> he, call, he called for snow for three weeks on a certain day. It was forming out in the Pacific. <laughs> My God, church, we live on the Atlantic side. <laughs> he caught this, talked it. It's coming down from the south, going to get moisture from the Gulf. Going to meet with a cold wave from Canada, and we're going to get anywhere from eight to ten inches of snow. Oh my grace! As God is my witness, as God is my witness, that day that He called for snow, I seen maybe two flakes, <laughs> and the sun come out. 
<laughs> a whole lot of people had a whole lot of stuff at their house called bread. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Milk. <laughs> and you had to throw it out because those 12 dozen eggs that you bought like you was going to be stayed in for six months. They rotted and it become stuff. Uh huh. That's right. Yeah. Yes. You know what we got going on in our mind today? We got so much stuff going on in our mind. We don't know if we want to serve God on Monday from Wednesday. That's Go right. ahead. Right. Stuff's in our life, right. church. Yes. And let me tell you what stuff will do. First of all, stuff clutters. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Yes, yes. You want to get your mind cluttered, get a whole lot of stuff in it. That's right. I believe this with my heart. If you ain't careful, the cares of this life will swallow you up. Right. And God will not come priority. It'll come when it's convenient for you. That's right, amen. That's right. Have you ever seen a I've never seen a time. Church, and I'm saying this with, with love and kindness. Little things derail us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Why is it? Why is it? We we can let such little things in our life derail us, and the next thing you know, all of a sudden, God is put out of the picture. You're right. And the thing that's bigger in your mind than what it really is, yes. and I have found this out about stuff. Most of the stuff is bigger in your mind that's than right. what it really is. That's I want to tell you that's something. That's Anything that you're going through tonight, you quit trying to work it out. You put it in the hands of God. I promise you, I serve a God that can get you out of the fiery furnace, that can raise up the dead, heal the sick, fix your house, make you blessed, and make you full of joy. too much stuff going on. Uh -huh. What's, listen, why is it you will plan a vacation in July, but you won't plan to come to church in two weeks? Uh-huh. You're right. You're right. We let stuff. Use your mic. <laughs> <laughs> we let stuff. If you come see me on Sunday morning, you're going to sit two hours by yourself. That's right. Because I'm going yeah. to church. That's right. Yeah. Amen. And if you don't want to go with me, I'll let you sit in my recliner. I'll let give you the remote to my television. I'll give you the remote to my fireplace. You can go to the refrigerator and get you a Diet Dr. Pepper. You can fix you a cheese sandwich. But you're going to eat it by yourself. There you go. That's right. I'm not staying out of church and missing the praise the name of Jesus when I yeah. that's, yeah. Right. that's right, that's right. Yeah. I got an uncle coming in I ain't seen in 20 years I promise you if you ain't seen me in 20 years two hours not going to make a difference that's right that's Amen. Right. That's right. if you come see me on Wednesday night I'm not going to be there so, so somebody said why it's called I have purpose yeah. in my heart I'm going to the house of God and get my blessing and bless the name of Jesus. That's what I want to do. I choose to praise the living God. I looked at that 19 year old Holy Ghost powerful anointing sick as a dog and a broke foot standing in this pulpit. You know who you see. Preach a gospel like Elijah. Old, preach like a man been preaching 40 years, yeah. had a fever, drove two and a half hours. Sure yeah. Stuff is bigger in my churches. Hey, across America, happen to fold because stuff. 
Japanese ever really cleans your house? Oh yeah. She knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. Yes. <laughs> we have got stuff. I've got a house with a full basement. <laughs> Literally full. You know what that basement full of? Stuff. Stuff. I got a barn, a, a, a building out back. You know what's full of? Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> you know what my guest bedroom? <laughs> My personal bedroom, <laughs> every room in the house, <laughs> there's stuff. I'm telling you, we got stuff that top of stuff. <laughs> we got stuff, stuff. Of stuff. <laughs> you got stuff in your stuff. <laughs> in your stuff. <laughs> we got stuff in places you don't know how to get don't to. Get me wrong. Brother, we know how to know what you got. We know like what you got. I don't like it like that. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, you can go, this is our couch, it's shaped like an L, here is a, sometimes a computer, a blanket, a box of empty chips, <laughs> an empty bag of candy, half coffee cups, <laughs> Say, I gotta find a place to sit at. <laughs> remote control. Remote control. <laughs> I tell you. And then we go to a yard sale. Yeah. And bring home some more stuff. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure. I've seen the same thing three different times. <laughs> <laughs> you bought it three different times. <laughs> Emma, hey, Sister Jean, uh, I, uh, God, we've been busy. New Year's Eve, we had a wedding. Yesterday, we had the, had the funeral. We've been huh, We've been busy. Sister Jean calls Teddy yesterday. Says, uh, I, I want somebody to take me shopping. <laughs> and then she oh, oh, on. She said, I don't need nothing. I, I, I got so much stuff. And you know, now, now, I want to kick into a, another mode. If you ain't watching, the devil will put so much stuff in your mind. You right? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Stuff. That's what the stuff. I want to show you something. I can't lay down my mind. No. What you wrote to Sunday. I'm, I'm going to have me a cordless smack. I'm going to have a horse drawing right there. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how stuff can get in your mind. Come here a minute, Seth. Seth can be perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Watch this. Power suggestion. Yeah. can you see? A little bit. He might have to go to the doctor. Now he's in pretty good shape right now. But if I talk to him long enough, he'll walk off like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because I'm putting a bunch of stuff. That's right. Don't you let me. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Don't you let somebody put a bunch of stuff. Yes. In your mind. Yes. That when you come to church, you can't lift up your hands and praise the name of Jesus. Because the enemy don't want you to praise God. He don't give you power. He just don't want you to lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. 